For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. The program's about to begin, so if you could just allow the speakers to get to their table and talk to them afterwards, I'd really appreciate well, it. Well, they can make the choice. Um, the next speaker is a government official or a former government official, so he's my business. <coughs> Hi. We are beyond capacity, I have to say. Yeah. Um, Well, hey, Professor Gravy. Hey, how are you? Good question. I got a question for you. Okay. You used to clerk for a federal court, correct? Yes, I did. What did you do from your position of power to uh, limit federal uh, prosecution of victimless crimes against people? I didn't. I had. I was a law clerk to a judge, so I researched the issues that came before the judge and provided legal memoranda on what the law required. So. Did, did Did you ever say anything, raise any concerns about the fact that the central government is prosecuting so many victimless criminals, and you were helping them? Well, that wasn't my job. No, that wasn't my role to do that. But you were helping us a court, right? Well, I was. I was working for a judge. So yeah, I mean, my job is in that capacity to to. Tell the judge uh, what the law is, and uh, that's what I tried to do. I appreciate the answer, <laughs> and I would have probably just come and asked in the court, except we're not allowed to film in there. So who are you with? It's Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com. Okay. Uh, there's a perception. Are you a member of the bar? Yes, I am. There's a perception that the bar is a monopoly. Uh, what do you think should happen to people who try to practice law without being a member of the bar? You know, that's, honestly, that's yeah. not something I've, I've thought about. It's not, an area, it's not really in my area of expertise. They're your competition. Should they be stopped? Well, practice law. They can certainly practice it pro se, but you mean in a representative capacity? Yeah, there are heavy restrictions on pro se. Yeah. Well, no, I, mean, I mean, people can appear pro se as parties. Yes, you cannot represent somebody. Yeah. Se, so we have to have a license to do that. It's honestly, it's, it's again, it's just not something I, it's not, it's not within my wheelhouse. <laughs> All right. It's, uh, it's not an issue that I, that I feel like I have. Well, I appreciate the answers. Yeah. All right. You take care. Uh, what I tell you, if we could get this many people interested in stopping torture. This isn't anything. Oxford Dictionaries uh, named Post Truth its International Word of the Year for 2016. Seven, the Union of Concerned Scientists said that Exxon Mobil had funded a disinformation campaign. If you want to stand up, it might be easier for people to hear you. Thank you. Well, uh, the first thing I want to say is that whatever you do for the next few moments uh, is uh, it's calculated to, to have. And we've seen it at work. Uh, our, uh, our president uh, uh, used it very successfully during the campaign by constantly emphasizing, and that emphasis solidifies what Lakoff says is the neural pathway of today's discussion, um, and probably that there's been a worrisome change uh, in recent years with respect to you know, the quantity and effect of, of this. Um, and I'm also going to infer that at least some of you here are thinking, well, what, what can we do? Uh, what can we do about this? 
Um, and you know, my area uh, is is law, and what I'm here to tell you uh, is is what we can't do uh, as a regulatory matter. And then at the end, I can step into a different set of shoes and suggest that there is something we can do, um, but that it, it doesn't involve. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.